I'm here with Ms. Joanna Katz from the Warsaw Ukrainian School. My name is Joanna Katz. I have come as a visiting scholar and professor to Brown University. I have been born in the close to Gdańsk, so I'm actually Polish. From my professional education, I started with nuclear physics, then philosophy and theology, and then I actually changed to cognitive sciences, especially language and brain. I was teaching at Brown for about three years. Can you talk a little bit about your role at the school and this school's mission? What, uh, what Ruby has seen is uh, something called Summer in a City. We have collected about 1,000 kids that either are half orphans or have working parents and have no means to actually have a summer and vacation. We take every week 120 of them and we organize different workshops five days a week. It's high standard Polish school, but really it's organized by a foundation called KIK, a Klub Inteligencji Katolickiej. Can you talk a little bit about the impact of the war on the different age groups? With the younger kids, what I have noticed, they need to be hugged, they hug me. But in younger kids, what I have noticed, they have a complete array of colors and they have to do something from creative, either with oil pastels or modeling. They will still gravitate to yellow and blue, and most of them will actually do Ukrainian flags or Ukrainian flower. Some of them will do, for example, a flag of Poland and a flag of Ukraine. So they don't speak about it, they actually, through art um, and also body language, express it. While with all the kids, I can see anger, I can see a sense of loss of belonging. I can also see that they are way more bored as they come here. And I think the boredom is not because they're not curious. The war has cut them off. They know that Poland is not their homeland. And so if you know and you're 16, your loss was way more deep than someone who's seven. And then your awareness is also much, much stronger than someone who's young. But I, what I've noticed I'm here is that the easiest to move on are little kids and parents. And the hardest to move on is from about 12, 13 years to maybe 17. How has the program here at this school been coping with them and helping these kids get through? Well, an excellent question. What I have heard from Oksana, who is the head of the Ukrainian school, every smile on the child's face, every authentic engagement into anything, even food, is already helped. So we're dealing with traumas that some of them are shallow, some of them are shallow wide, some of them are very deep and narrow. And we have created a program that has sport activities. There is also lots of music. And then there's my workshops, which are based on a topic of history of Earth. Mostly I talk to Ruby about it because I believe that sometimes it's also healthy for the brain to not only help the emotions, but also try to refocus the brain from pain into a field in which you can find also positive emotions and then the brain kind of rests in the place of pain. Also, a lot of these kids go home and they still either draw this topic or, you know, there's volcanoes, there's all these other things that we work on. And simply by forgetting for a half an hour, an hour, that emotional pain is also happening. With all this in mind, what is your message to the communities around the world? What action should they be taking right now? First of all, we should remember that the war barely started. I am here in the moment where most of my Polish friends are actually tired from helping from 24th of February. So I came with energy and resource to actually gap their tiredness so they can rest and eventually when I get tired, they will be rested enough. So I think understanding that we are a chain of good we, we also have our end of energy, and so we have to reload. Working together, but also working meaningfully and working with intention. I've also seen tons and tons of cardboards full of accidental books, accidental toys, accidental clothing. I am planning right now to first do a serious analysis of the environment 
and especially society you are directing your help to so that you can be more intentional. I completely agree. I think a lot of people can take from that and take next steps to better support Ukraine. So thank you so much, Joanna. It was really, really nice speaking with you and hearing your story. Just do whatever you can.